हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ट्रांजिस्टर एच पैरामीटर रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो देयर वाज रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स टू प्रिपेयर सम वीडियोस ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज एच पैरामीटर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टर व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग इट एंड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज एंड व्हाट इज द आउटकम ऑफ यूजिंग द ट्रांजिस्टर H parameter representations. So let us move ahead. So first we'll see what is the H parameter representation of the transistor. So this is the first question. Actually, we are interested. So this the first question we are interested is what is H parameter representation of transistor? What is it is? It is not a transistor. We know what is transistor. and we are representing it in terms of h parameter so what is that the second question is why we are using them what is the need of using the h parameter representations now we know the transistor is three terminal device everyone knows this one so it is having three terminals this is the symbol of transistor we know this symbol so it contains one terminal as base one as collector and one as emitter now this three terminal device when we want it to connect into this circuit we should have in any circuit in any circuit suppose this is the circuit this circuit will have two inputs and two outputs now but transistor is only having three terminals so what we want we should keep one terminal common between input and output so this is the input side this is the suppose output side so transistor is having three terminals so one terminal will be common between input and output either it can be base either it can be collector or either it can be emitter and depending on that we are having our configurations of course we are having if base is common we are calling it as cv configuration If emitter is common, we are calling it as CE configuration of transistor. If collector is common between input and output, we are calling it as CC configuration. So in all the cases, it is mandatory for us to use transistors one terminal between common between input and output. So the ultimately transistor will be like a two port network. Suppose suppose we are keeping emitter common. so if emitter is common you can see this if emitter is common i'm drawing this circuit so this is this is the emitter terminal and it is common between input and output so this is input side and this is output side so this is output side this is input side this is base this is collector so between base and emitter we are giving input and between collector and emitter we are taking output so base and emitter we are giving input and between collector to emitter we are taking output so here if you observe in input and output emitter is common so it's like a two port network it is the one port this is the port 1 or input port and this is the port 2 that is output port so it's like a two port network so this transistor itself we are using it like a two port network so this two port network we know to find the different parameters of the circuit like input resistance output resistance right current gain voltage gain we are using two port network parameters so for that reason for that reason what we are using we are using h parameter model here now why only h parameter that is one question that question we will be answering in the next video thank you